Okay. Is this working? Hi everybody! It's Allison Stoner. I look kind of crazy, but that's okay. Because I was trying to figure out how to use Facebook Live and realized that my phone was going to die. So, of course, I couldn't find my charger, which means I had to go to my car, which is where I'm chatting with you from. So thank you, car, and thank you all for joining. I encourage you to speak your minds, tell me how you're feeling, let's talk. First, I just want to let you know why I look like I haven't slept, and that's because I haven't slept. I shot my new music video for my next song um, that I'm going to be releasing early May, and I can't tell you the title, but the concept uh, included both elements of downtown city life and then um, kind of jungle elements, and I'll explain more of that later. I don't want to give too many hints away. Um, but we shot overnight, so last minute I needed to find a new director and a new production team, and within like five or six days they miraculously pulled it together. Um, we filmed on a rooftop in downtown Los Angeles. It was beautiful. It was cold. I had 14 dancer friends who are phenomenal. They do all styles of dance, all genres of movement, and um, yeah, it was just so, so amazing. If you followed Huffington Post Entertainment Snapchat, we did a takeover, and um, you can see some of the looks and visuals from it. So um, yeah, I can see some comments coming in. This is so cool. Um, I see Austin asked about going to Diamond Bar High. Yes, I do remember. Um, and thank you so much, Greg. That's that's really, really kind. I appreciate it. And I'm going to just get a little more comfortable if I can. Let's see if I can tilt this down and sit in my back seat. Does that work? I don't think so. I think I have to sit on my center console because I'm classy. Um, so yeah, please feel free to ask any questions about new music. Um, if you aren't familiar, I released my song Woman uh, that came out in February and the video's online and it's been a really exciting journey musically. I feel as though you may have gotten to know me as an actress, um, <laughs> not an actress, a real actress, and I'm playing roles, um, so I'm bringing to life someone else's vision but music is finally my fingerprint. It's my DNA. It's coming from a very sincere place, uh, from my journey of personal development and expression. Um, so I hope you guys check out the music. We're gonna keep releasing it over the rest of the year and then I'll have an EP out in the fall. So please stay tuned. Keep checking on all socials for updates and videos and stuff. Um, let's see some questions. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you all. <laughs> um, thank you, Susie. Jason, Step Up sequel. Jason, there have been five Step Up movies. How many more could we possibly make? And what? Please tell me, what would the storyline be? Because, man, I feel like we've battled in every place you can battle. And... I don't know. I think I would have to have like children by then and Jason, I'm just not ready for children. I'm really not ready for children. Love them. But I also like to give my nieces and nephews back to their fabulous parents. <clears throat> um, hi Brandon. Thank you. My smile is goofy, but I'm glad you think it's amazing. It's actually a little crooked and it's like my father's. So I like that about my smile. Thanks dad. Um, will you go ball with me? Sure. I actually, um, I grew up playing basketball and sports my whole life, so I'm really grateful that, um, really grateful what sports taught me growing up, just teamwork and the attitude, the hard work mentality, and of course being competitive. I'm super, super competitive. Um, thank you, Richard, I appreciate it. And I got your, um, fan mail letter and I just responded to it yesterday 
or a couple days ago, and it's sitting on the edge of my bed along with the collection of fan mail. So if you guys submitted or sent fan mail recently, um, and if it made it to me, sometimes they get lost, unfortunately. Um, I'll be sending those out soon, uh, some, some photos and whatnot. Let's see. Any fun, interesting, weird questions? <laughs> was Bill Clinton there? I don't know what you're referring to, but he was not there. Um, how do I see more comments? This is a little confusing for me. Oh wow, look at all these viewers! Oh my gosh, I feel like I have to entertain you! What can we talk about? <laughs> New movies? 250 comments so far. How do I see the comments? It won't show me the new comments. This is confusing me. But hello everyone. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Since I can't see your comments right now and I'll keep trying to figure that out. Um, I hope y'all are having an amazing day, an amazing week. Um, let's see. What else can we say? I, uh, I had a really cool um, breakfast after not sleeping during the, the shoot. And I was able to just catch up with a friend who um, we've been through a lot together. And it's really neat when you come across someone you've known and who's known different sides of you. Um, but as you're growing, they allow you to grow and give you space to grow. And we had really great conversations about just reinterpreting um, our life situations for the better and opening ourselves up to positivity and, and happiness and um, building on relationships that once were kind of going south or reconciling with people and not that this has I have any reason to share this with you other than it's been a very powerful thing happening in my personal life and since this is a Q&A I think it's kind of cool when uh, you can connect with more of the human behind the art and the work. Um, I really want to, as I release music, I really, really, really want to get to know you all for who you are. Um, and I want you to get to know me for who I am. Like I said earlier, I think most of you know me as characters and I'm so appreciative of the support. Thank you for watching all the projects. Really, it means more and more to me growing up and hearing people say, oh, you're my childhood, or I remember, remember you from this movie or that music video. It really does mean so much. Um, and I can't wait for you to get to know me as a human being. Even the messy sides, the, the tired Allison, which is right now, the, the unpretty, the really ugly, the everything. Um, and of course, some of the good stuff too. Uh, something I like about my music that's coming out and this new mu music video that I shot yesterday, um, the actual theme of this music video is about embracing my, uh, embracing my, um, sort of more, admi admitting to myself and to others that I have a ton of different sides. Um, and, and being okay with that and accepting it and not judging it, but just like giving myself space to, to be to be where I'm at. Um, a lot of times growing up in Hollywood, you uh, have to be really polished with your answers. And um, that can put you under a lot of pressure and it can cause you to be a little insincere. And I think I was always trying to be as honest as possible, but I think as I'm finding out who I am, um, I can't wait to to reveal that for what it's worth and just learn artistically. Gosh, I so wish I could see your comments. I think I have a text from a friend who might be helping explain that. Oh, thank you. He's passing along the, the questions. Um, do you like acting or singing better? Um, you know, right now, singing is far more challenging. So I, I, I'm liking the challenge of growing in a way, honestly, I've been acting my whole life at second nature, been dancing my whole life at second nature, I've been writing music my whole life, but I haven't been performing it. So I'm totally okay with trying something that I'm not the best at and growing into what I can become.
that's really exciting to me. And you guys can watch it evolve, which I think is like one of the coolest things you can do when sharing as an artist. Uh, what is your favorite color? Green. I've liked green my whole life. I had these lime green colored socks um, growing up and I would try and wear them every day, but my dad obviously made me wash them every so often. Am I going on tour? Yes, not not a full tour yet because I'm an independent artist, so I have to, you know, start somewhere, but I'm doing spot dates. So I just performed at a few different events and I have another one coming up on the 20th and possibly the 23rd. Um, and then I believe there's an opportunity to tour in China, which would be so cool. I'm not sure if that's happening yet though. Um, if, if you guys like the song Woman, by the way, Call in to your local stations and request it. We just had it play in Milwaukee on KISS FM. And the more buzz we can spread with it, um, the more likely I can go and, and perform in these places. And and that's, you know, only if you want to see me. Um, what's your favorite dance move? My favorite dance move... I would say... In, instead of dance move... I'm gonna modify the question if that's okay. Um, my favorite dance style that I'm learning is house, but I want to learn whacking and popping. So you might have heard popping and usually people say pop lock, which is an error. Do yourself a favor, do not ever say pop lock to a dancer because they will know that you are unfamiliar. Popping is a style, locking is a style. You don't pop lock, you either pop or you lock. You can do both but not at the same time, that would be weird. Um, but it's a free country, so do your thing. Um, so yeah, and then whacking is a, an incredible and powerful poised style. Um, look it up on YouTube, there are tons of really fascinating uh, videos of whacking. Uh, Stephanie, what's up? She asked, dogs or cats? Hmm, honestly? If you would have asked me last year, I would have said dogs. If you would have asked me when I was five, I would have said dogs. Um, I think there's room for both. I think there's room for everyone. And I'd just like to take a stance for the inclusion of cats. That's all I have to say. From T, are you coming to Toledo? Possibly, yes. Um, possibly in a few, few days, actually. If this performance happens, that would be really cool. Can you sing something? Honestly, I normally would. Um, I guess I'm just tired vocally, but um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> close, ooh, -hoo, oh, so close, ooh, -hoo, I want you close, ooh, -hoo, oh, I want you close. There it is, and surprise, I'm actually doing a cover of that with Leroy Sanchez. I just recorded it yesterday, or the day before, after rehearsal, before the shoot, and that's going to be out hopefully like April 20th, so keep your eyes out for a cover. I love that song. Um, let's see, do you have any hidden talents? I'm super nerdy. I love... <sighs> I love words. My nickname is Dictionary Queen. It's not really a talent, I guess, but my vocabulary is obnoxious sometimes, and I'm told to um, use layman's terms a lot. I don't know. Um, what? Oh, hey, Laura Jane! Hi! Shout out to Laura Jane for watching. Thank you for being here, and thank you all so much for tuning in. This is outrageous. That's absolutely outlandish that we're all here. I wish I could see your faces, your beautiful faces. Favorite guilty pleasure from Kiki? Of course you would ask that, Kiki. Guilty pleasure. Well, I will say <clears throat> that I just ate French toast for breakfast, which for me, if you're just recently tuning in, I shot a music video all night, so my breakfast today was at 4 p.m., and it was French toast, and you know, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna have ice cream for dinner. So guilty pleasure, sugar. Um, are you doing more movies? 
Yes, I have a new film called Mr. Invincible. Um, I'm playing Tallulah Marie Bennett. She's like really zany, very spontaneous, and actually my silly side, which I don't think many people have seen because I didn't even discover it until recently, uh, you'll get to see me explore that side with this character. She's sort of the comedic relief um, because the, the movie has this sort of action adventure element. It's a little bit of a thriller. Um, yeah, like we get, I get kidnapped, but then you kind of laugh at me because I'm like squirming while I'm tied up and I'm trying to escape. And um, yeah, it's, it's a really fun movie. So that comes out this August somewhere. Um, Jeremy wants to know if you're going to Florida soon. Jeremy in Florida. What it do, baby boo? Um, I don't have any current plans to go to Florida, but if you say find a place I can play music, then I'll be there. Um, David, what's your biggest career accomplishment? Good question. Thank you. Biggest career accomplishment. There are a lot of ways you can answer that, and I know I'm thinking quickly, um, but the first thing that comes to mind is creating the Missy Elliott tribute video that went viral last year. And the reason I say that and not like a blockbuster movie, you know, cheaper by the dozen or something, is because the Missy Elliott tribute was my personal idea, and I gathered the people around and produced it myself, and it was my decision to stop waiting for other people to hire me and to start participating in, in my potential and believing that my vision is enough. Um, it was really empowering and, and the fact that it was received so well globally, you know, people were saying like, wow, she, you know, she's making her comeback. Allison, not just Missy, but Allison also, which I found funny because I've been, I've really been working consistently, thankfully, all these years. So I don't know where I disappeared to, except I wasn't in huge movies. Um, but the fact that people took notice, um, I'm just very grateful. And that made a statement to the world and to myself. And since then, it's sort of been like hit the ground running and just believe in all the possibilities. Um, so if I could say anything to anyone who's creating their own content or just not even entertainment wise, following your dreams, don't wait. Do not wait. Um, think of the future dream that you see, that you imagine and bring that into today. What can you do today to live as that person? What can you do today to break through that wall, that fear, that obstacle? What can you do today to stop making excuses? What can you do today to open yourself up to trying something new and, and being uncomfortable because it's new? What can you do today to learn more about yourself and what you're capable of? And, uh, um, and and just really jump in just jump in that's what i'm doing with music i have no guarantee i have no label i have no you know fancy you know tons of money to advertise i really i am i've been acting and dancing my whole life professionally but with music in many ways as a 22 year old i'm starting over when all of my 22 year old friends are starting to find their careers as well so i'm like we're all in this together we really are all on the same journey right now so i believe in you and what you're after thank you for believing in me and supporting me um some more questions uh oh aunt luann in houston hi <laughs> oh my family how are you? I hope you're well. I miss ya. I love ya. Um, shout out to Mary. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Uh, what's your favorite cover you've done? I think this new one with Leroy. Uh, also, Sweater Weather with Max. Hello. So good. I love, I love listening to his voice. Whew. What scares you the most about letting people know who you really are? Great question. Um, man, I, I used to be pretty pretty scared of having any kind of negative reputation. It's a little bit how I was brought up. It's a little bit about being in the public eye. Um, and I don't like when, you know, if people think that I'm mean or 
you know, I really care about their approval and, and their opinions. But as I've as I've done more kind of soul searching and self development, that builds confidence of who I am authentically. So the more I accept all of the sides of myself, the more uh, the more I should say the the less I'm concerned with other people's opinions and views of me. And I'm finding that as I share openly, obviously with a heart full of love as much as I can, that the people who do connect with me will be far more sincere and genuine and will build sort of a, a true community. That's what I want with you guys. I want, I want true community. I want true back and forth and feedback, um, kindly, hopefully. I want conversations. I want us to be able to talk about things beyond music, beyond career, beyond what we do nine to five and what we're exploring, some of the bigger questions, um, how we're all connected, how we're different, society, what's going on globally. Um, I, I want that kind of transparency with people because I think that's, that's the avenue to change, right? To progress, to carrying forward the story of humanity. Um, I feel like I'm trying to give an inspirational speech and I'm really not. Um, let's see. What are the songs on your EP about? Well, I shouldn't say much of this. Um, so if I say it, you're just going to have to pretend like it's a surprise when I surprise you. Um, this next song was written when someone, uh, said something pretty, pretty nasty to me. Um, and, and judged me for something and I decided to kind of say I'm gonna let it roll off my back and embrace all sides of me and uh, so I want this song to speak to everyone who's ever felt I don't know it's 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 more of a jam than anything so that's that's pretty vibey but there's a lot of subtext um, another song is about feeling kind of possessive in a relationship. You know, when you have that moment, like, I really like you and I see this other person coming at you and I don't want to deal with them. Uh, uh, like mm -mm, that person's for me, not you, not that you have control over that. So that's a little sassy. And there's another song uh, that's about, for me, I wrote it when I learned how to connect and be present with people and myself in the creative process. And I, I was able to kind of slip into the, that flow state. Um, I really, really love that song. It's super large, super anthemic. And then we, uh, we have a few more, but I don't want to give everything away. Just a couple more questions and then I've got to go, unfortunately. And thank you again so much, everyone, for tuning in. If you're newly tuning in, apologies for the lack of sleep. Look, I was filming a music video that'll be out next month. So, uh, got to keep it moving, right? Um, favorite movie quote. I don't watch movies like ever, really. Uh, only thing that comes to mind is Mean Girls. Like, do you even go here? Sorry guys, phone call. Um, and two more questions. Um, how old were you when you started dancing? I was three years old and seven when I started acting and about seven and eight when I started writing music. And most surprising experience you've had recently? Woo! How personal do we want to get on the last question? Um, okay, sure, let's be candid. Last question, last answer, and thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. Um, most surprising experience, I had uh, a really difficult thing happen with someone, and um, and then we had the opportunity to, to, we're in the same like workspace, so we were bound to run into each other, and you know when you have a little bit of weird air and you're like, I don't know what to do, do you say hi, do you be friendly, do you stick to yourself? Um, and I decided that you know, I kind of want to let love win. I want to let compassion grow. So I, um, you know, made it a point obviously to initiate respectfully without any expectation. And, um, they reciprocated. They came back with the same generosity and openness. And I was not expecting that really. Um, because it's hard when you have rough air or history or, you know, hard memories or something. So um, that was the most surprising thing that happened recently, and I feel like that's 
a good positive thing to end on. Um, so thank you all so much. This is so cool that we can connect more personally and candidly. And um, gosh, I wish you all the best. And let's do this again soon, right? Let's not let's not wait too long. Um, have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Much love. Stay tuned for new music, and you can see my, my song, Woman, that's out already. Yep. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.